North Dakota first. Leading up to Veterans Day, KX News is celebrating our North Dakota heroes, some in uniform and others who have since hung it up. And tonight, meet a man who joined the Air Force to fuel his curiosity, somehow landing him in the Peace Garden State to stay. Renee Cooper has his story. I was initially stationed in RAF Bentwaters Woodbridge in the United Kingdom. Loved it. And then I got orders to Minot Air Force Base, which everybody was just absolutely terrified of. Now very much a seasoned North Dakotan, Air Force veteran Matthew Williams is native Hawaiian. He grew up in Waipahu, a city on the island of Oahu, Hawaii. When you're from Hawaii, you meet people from everywhere. And you're curious. And that curiosity fueled flights around the world, serving on active duty in at least eight different countries in multiple states from 1980 to 1992. As a child, I knew I was going to wind up wearing a uniform of one of the branches. I needed to serve. He was deployed to Saudi Arabia as a part of Operation Desert Storm in 1990. The first major foreign crisis for the U.S. after the Cold War. General Schwarzkopf had a plan, and from day one, when he lit it off, we weren't losing. Williams considers himself a war fighter. We're, we're there to fight wars. And in between, we keep the peace. There were guys that didn't go. Shocking. You know, they're all patched up and have all the different schools they've gone to. And then when it was time to do what we were trained to do, they just, oh, well, one guy broke down and said, well, my, my wife's pregnant. And the, the master sergeant we worked for at the time just looked at me and I'm like, I have a child too. William says his time at Minot Air Force Base was some of the best of his military career, where he spent four years in the 80s. I was the Air Mobile Fire Team leader, the team in the chopper. I could see everything, and I would see these nice areas, mark it out on our military map, and then pull out my civilian map, and, <laughs> you know, okay, I think, and that, that's how I would visit these places and, you know, meet the farmers. But after his Desert Storm deployment, he says he saw more wars on the horizon, and it was time to move on. I was proud to have earned the uniform and to maintain the standard to continue to wear that uniform until I decided not to anymore. Reporting for KX News in the capital city, Renee Cooper. William says his only regret is not getting the opportunity to tour and serve in Korea and Japan, two places he hoped he'd see. Now he works for BNSF and says he is here to stay. Well, on Saturday morning, KX News will air a special 30-minute show featuring stories of those who serve or have served our country. Help us honor those veterans by watching at 1130 this Saturday morning. And stay